Um, let's say about two weeks ago. Exciting. Yes, sir. Very exciting. Very exciting. It's an honor and a blessing for sure. Was it announced at the team? Was it the team at that time, or did that come later? Uh, that came a little bit later. Um, I was talking to Freeze, and it kind of slipped out, and we had a really cool moment together. Um, the next day, we had a team run, and after the team run, he got us all up and let me and Justin know, and uh, we got to react with our teammate, which was really fun. What, what, what was the moment like where it kind of slipped out with Coach Freeze? Like, like what, what happened? Uh, we were up. I was actually up in his office, and uh, you know, Freeze is really good with the relationships and, and helping us off the field. He's really been helping me off the field with things that I'd like to do and things that I'd like to get into. And uh, we were up there talking all about it. And, um, you know, he started smiling and I could feel that something was coming. And he told me I wasn't supposed to know and, and I kind of got it out of him. And uh, <laughs> it was fun. It was cool. So. Can you just kind of talk about your journey? I mean, you, you, Coach Roberts called you, right, when you were at Baylor? Yes, sir. So you come to Auburn and then he's calling you. Right, uh, right, right. Been kind of a, a kind of an unusual journey. Right, you know for sure. Um, yeah, really. Uh, it's all the Lord's plan. Um, nothing but the Lord. Um, you know, I think back. I think back. You know about my family and and how I really got here. Um, my late grandfather Michael brought our family over here to Auburn, and still hard work. Um, my grandmother, Mama, Carolyn Speaks, um, she's the queen of Auburn. <laughs> and uh, just the hard work that my family has instilled in me, growing up with three brothers, a very competitive household. Um, I'm just no doubt a product of my community and a product of my family. Um, really just, I say the community, you know, my neighborhood, incredible families like the Lyles, the North Cuts, the Sprayberries. I could go. I could go down. Um, you know, coaches. You know, Coach Harris, uh, Coach Matt Simo, Coach Jordan. That's still coaching at Dean Road. Um, you know, I could go on and on. I'd really just say it means a lot. Um, just for the, just from where I've come from, and um, doing it for the people that I love and cherish. Uh, like going out to Baylor or growing up here, I've always wanted to play here. You know, I've always wanted to wear the orange and blue. Baylor took a chance on me. I went out there and getting a call to come back home, you know, meant more than anything. So really just, really just, it means a lot. So, so what's it like now that you're a scholarship player at Auburn? I know growing up here, that had to have yeah. been a dream of yours. Now, now, that, yeah. now that you've got it, what is, what is, what is that feeling? Like? Uh, definitely a dream. You know, we celebrated for a few minutes, but to be honest, it's all about the process. And for me, I feel like a lot of the people that I've grown up with have instilled in me, you know, to be process oriented over results oriented. You know, fall in love with the process and hopefully you'll you'll enjoy the results. Um, so for sure, there's definitely some celebrating. Me and my dad had a very emotional phone call, um, you know, with some screaming and it was really cool, you know, getting to tell my family and community and everybody that's gotten me here because I would not be here without any of them. Um, so it was definitely cool, but it's, you know, it's just right back to work, like, like nothing's changed because the approach has always been the same. The approach has always been to come in, you know, handle your business, put your head down and, and do what you need to do. So definitely some celebrating, but really just right back to work. How about what you've seen defensively from this team so far? Maybe it's potential. And oh yeah, and we got some fire. I'm telling you, we got some dudes, we got some pros, we got some guys that are going to play on Sundays. Um, the attention to detail has has really stood out. Um, Coach Durkin has done a great job of instilling, you know, the work ethic and the details, um, even off the field, that can translate to on the field. Um, so I'd say I'm, I'm extremely excited. We have a lot of guys who care. We got a lot of guys who are putting in the time off the field that will hopefully translate on the field.